season in 2012. He's now eighth all-time in rushing yards at better than 13,000 and fifth all-time in rushing touchdowns with 106. Do you know what his dad nicknamed him as a kid? All day. You got it. A.D. doing his thing in D.C. Now Smith got his man complete over the middle. That's Richardson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. And that is incomplete. The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They give it to Peterson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Back-to-back -back stops, make it third and ten. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one... Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Buster Screen. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now. First and 10 at the 33-yard line. Now a first carry for Isaiah Crowell. And he's going to be stopped here on this first play as he gets it to the line of scrimmage. And no To throw on second down is Darnold. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. First down, it's Darnold. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Darnold. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Preston Smith. In there to get him for what will be a loss of 13 yards. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Comes off to Powell. It'll be a two-yard gain, and it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. 
And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. CD, before this next drive gets going, the Pro Bowl took place January 27th in Orlando. Third year in a row that the AFC has won, and really the third year in a row where the weather in Orlando has not been too kind. It was ice cold 2017, and then downpours the last couple years. Yeah, in addition to it being cool as well, again this year, so rain and cold. That hurts the crowd a little bit, but still, this game has evolved into what I would call a crazier type NFL game. Quick whistles to make sure. Guys and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jordan Jenkins in there to get him for what will be a loss of 13 yards. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Smith now to throw. Being chased out left. And that is incomplete. But no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. With Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon with you. It's the Jets in possession as we begin quarter number two here as they take over following the punt with a first and ten. <whistles> Darnold going to lead the Jets up now. First and ten at the 34. They begin with a run by Crowell. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Give the tackle there to Josh Norman. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Here's Darnold now on second down. That's complete over the middle to Anderson. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. A first down carry now for Crowell. And he stopped immediately there. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Jumpy on the right side of the line. Sometimes when you're on the end, a little bit farther away from the ball, any type of movement will get you to jump, and that's exactly what happened there. They'll run it now out of the gun, and yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain there on first and five, and it leaves him with a more standard second down. Here's Darnold. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Bilal Powell from eight yards out. And the Jets are able to strike for six. Set. Green 39. Green 39. To throw is Darnold. And he will get in to make it 8 nothing. And, of course, on the two-point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there, and it works. So pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver, ball's put on him, two points for them. Here's Myers now to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Washington Redskins, as they make their way back out here, you know, they're coming off back-to-back -back seven and nine seasons now. Yes, they had the injury at quarterback, injuries at quarterback, 
but yes, there was a time when you thought the NFC East was theirs. It certainly was. Remember, they were 6-3 and three at one point. And people were wondering, could they ride the legs of Adrian Peterson to a division crown and into the playoffs? But injuries hit them in a big way. At one point, partner down the stretch, the two teams that led the league and guys on the injured reserve list, Washington and Oakland. The brothers Gruden, head coaches of both teams, I was teasing both of them saying, you guys competed everything? That's not something you want to compete for. So they had a bunch of injuries that really derailed their opportunity to try and win the division. Trying to get back to the playoffs soon. They haven't won a playoff game since 2005. They'll run it. Here's Peterson. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. He needed a yard. That's what he got. And it's going to earn him a new set of downs. We ought to come up with a t-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulder square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. A really nice gain of 25 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back to MetLife Stadium after this short timeout. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They go play action here on first down. Rolling to his left. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Flush to his right. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Clock running as the Redskins try to hurry up. To throw on second down to Smith, and he whips that one incomplete there. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there, and it's third down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Hard throw, incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. So now on fourth down, the Redskins will hand things over to their kicker, Dustin Hopkins. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. And Hopkins' kick is good. And they get on the board, trailing now 8-3. to three. Boy, they're down only one score, still first half, but they're going to line up for the onside kick. The Redskins now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And they're going to be set up in excellent field position up past the 45. As they get ready for this next drive, we shift our attention to a little Super Bowl conversation. The third time that the Super Bowl Charles is going to be played in Atlanta. And the Patriots had 35,000 folks come out in Foxborough before departing for a little rally. How about that? You would think that would be a fan base where it might be a little bit blasé about the whole thing because they seem to go just about. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way Touchdown, New York! Robbie Anderson, 53 yards. And the Jets get the quick strike touchdown. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And he pushed it right. It's no good. Here's Myers now to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. He'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. 
A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They'll fake it. Now Smith. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, and you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. The Redskins on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and nine. Throwing is Smith. He'll buy some time right. It's brought in by Dodson. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Complete. Richardson has it. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Smith on first down, sliding out of the pocket. Jackson with a grab over the middle. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. On first and 10, Smith... They'll go over the middle to Reed, complete. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. First down now, but that clock rolling. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Jamison Crowder as the first half is winding down. And the Redskins are able to make this a close game again. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that makes it a 14-10 ball game. Here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So the football going back over to the New York Jets. Want to assess this past season, 4-12. and 12. And don't get mad at me, Jets fans, but that's now double-digit losses and a last-place finish in four of the last five seasons. <laughs> so why are you laughing? I'm laughing how you tried to keep the Jets fans from coming I'm after you. When trying you to be nice. excited what was going on there. They're a passionate fan base. New coach coming in. What, what do they need to change, Charles? Well, the last two head coaches have been defensive-minded guys. Rex Ryan to Todd Bowles. Both of them had their pockets of success. Bowles almost went to the playoffs. I believe his first year as a coach. Rex Ryan went to two AFC championship games. But they haven't been to the playoffs since the 2010 season. I would expect an offensive-minded coach to take over with Sam Darnold as their young quarterback. So we've hit halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the home team, the Jets, leading this one. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? And the Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And the Jets set to take the field. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. 
They're going to run this with a tight end. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Sean Dion Hamilton was there to bring him down defensively. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Now the penalty, a big assist to this offense. Now it's third and three. Darnold from the gun. This is Crowell on the catch. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. And they are going for it. Darnold, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Redskins touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands. We want to head the other way. Probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary on that last possession. <laughs> they keep it with Crowell on first. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. So statistically... Both of these offenses having a rough time getting a running game going. But, boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. On second down, Darnold. A screen complete to Crowell. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's third down now. Third and long, it's Darnold. Found his target, it's Anderson. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Here's Darnold. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. And that'll be enough to keep the drive moving forward. Another first down on the pickup of five yards. 
Darnold on first down. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Neil Sterling, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Jets are able to strike for six. Well, remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right, he looks comfortable. What are they doing, anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. but he stopped where he ultimately would have been and he's simply taken a knee and that's the 25-yard line. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. And he can't find anywhere to go with it and he goes down. Henry Anderson in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Here's Smith now on second down. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay inbounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. The Redskins on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third down and 12. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. Ah, oh, yes, the old tip drill works to perfection there. Ah, oh, you're bringing back great memories. You used to love that drill. And a lot of times in practice, you work on it not just one tip, but multiple tips, just in case the ball stays in the air for a while, to have an awareness and the ability to go up and grab it. And then you want to get some blocking support and end up in the opposite end zone. In that tip drill, do you, what do you yell? Uh, for, for, for us, it was Oski. Okay, Oski was an for different teams. Different teams have different ways of doing it. I've heard bingo, jackpot. The worst I ever heard, though, was Frankenstein. You don't want it to be a two syllable so word. You want, you want to get it right down and go. Oski is really the preferred word. Oski. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. And fresh off the pick six, they've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. It all comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some reason. It's deep in there, right? <laughs> and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 16 yards right off the bat with a first down. Back to throw, Smith. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A good pick up there, 22. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. On first down, Smith. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Easy to tell who they're targeting on this drive. He caught the first two passes but then this time unable to hook up. But I don't think that that stops them from continuing to go back to him, do you? No. I mean, they've got a, they've got a plan. They're trying to execute it. Now, after that second catch, I saw him in the huddle. He said, hey, let's go back one more time. Didn't work there. And Reed with it over the middle. 
And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Give him 30 yards there. They'll run with Peterson. And they'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Adrian Peterson taking it in from four yards out. And the Redskins have made this a one-score game. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Now it's Smith, buying time to his left. And he will get into the end zone to shave two more points off the deficit. Here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. The Jets' offensive unit ready to get going here. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. The shotgun snap for Darnold. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. Hurry up, here we go. They'll run it now out of the gun. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Corral. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. The Redskins looking for another timeout, and they get it. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. to him on first down and he'll get this into enemy territory but not by much as he's down to the 48 just a yard on the first down carry so it's second and nine watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you he did that very well you praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball took a great angle right there and they'll get him down here at about the 42 and play is stopped here timeout it's the defense calling the timeout here as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game The Jets on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Here it's third and two. Here we go now. Blue 90. Blue 90. Darnold. Dumps off to Powell. 
And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. It's a gain of seven, and that should just about do it. And this defense, they needed that one more stop to have any chance with that completion. That's likely going to seal their fate. And you could hear it in your voice, that one more stop. Feel their pain. Oh, it was so important. They just didn't get it done. Wow. What a way to finish this one off. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. It's a gain of seven, and that should just about do it. Instead of running, Darnold's going to throw this thing. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Mason Foster coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered.